Access can import data from a fixed width text file into a table. In a fixed width file, each record appears on a separate line and the width of each field remains consistent across records. Joining date fields data type is date and time. You can see in 15th row, instead of date, there is text. Let us see how Access handles invalid data. On the external data tab, in the import and link group, click on new data source. Select from file and then text file from the shortcut menu. The get external data text file wizard is displayed. In the file name text box, type the name of the source text file or click on browse. File open dialog box is displayed. Browse to the location and choose the source text file. Click on open. Select import the source data into a new table in the current database. Or select append a copy of the records to the table if you want to append data to the existing table. Click on OK. The import text wizard starts and leads you through the import process. Select fixed width, click on next. If access detects a column structure in the data, it places vertical lines in the data to separate the fields. Access guesses the best breaks to use for fields based on the most consistent spacing across rows. Review the structure suggested by the wizard and if necessary, follow the instructions on the wizard page to add, remove or adjust the lines. Click on the line and move it left or right to change the width of fields in the file. To create a break line, click at the desired location, double click on the line to delete the line. Click on Next. Review the field properties. Click on a column in the lower half of the page to display the corresponding fields properties. Enter the field name and data type of the destination field. To create an index on the field, set index to S. To completely skip a source column, select the Do Not Import Field checkbox. Click on Advanced button to launch the Import Specification dialog box. Notice that all the choices you made until now have been selected here. Review them and make changes if needed. You can select how date, time and number fields are formatted. You can save these specs for future use by clicking on Save As. Click on Specs. Import Export Specifications dialog box opens. A list of saved specifications are displayed. If you have a previous specification you want to use, click on Open to use it. Click on OK to apply all the changes. Click on Next after you finish selecting options. Specify a primary key for the table. If you select Let Access Add Primary Key, Access adds an auto number field as the first field in the destination table and assigns it as a primary key. Click on Next. Specify a name for the destination table. Click on Finish. If Access was able to import some or all the data, Save Import Steps dialog box appears. If there are any errors, the status message mentions the name of the error log table. You can save the details of the operation for future use as a specification. Click on Close. Companies and companies underscore import errors tables appear in the navigation pane. Companies underscore import errors has details of the errors which were caused during the import process. Error field and row are listed. There is error in the joining date field in the 15th row. Open the destination table in datasheet view. Notice that in the joining date 
field 15th record where there was invalid data the value is null. If you like this video please subscribe to our channel.